Hey everybody, Michael Snyder at California Weather Watch. Today is October 25th and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see this Arctic air fed storm across the Pacific Northwest helping to cast this frontal system. You can see it moving across Northern California as we speak. It's going to bring some gusty winds, especially for the higher terrain, some of the desert areas. Some mountain snow is possible with it as well. Some precipitation also. We'll take a look at those totals as we go through the video this morning and as always we'll take a look at the extended forecast here as well. And this is looking at Acapulco, kind of out of our forecast area and won't have any impact here on the southwest USA, but some gusts up towards 135 miles per hour. We had rapid intensification with this system here. Very symmetrical eye as it moved on shoreline last night and some pretty uh, interesting damage showing up in some of the social media accounts there. So hopefully anybody down there with any concerns is okay. And just so everybody here also has heads up on that system there. The rapid intensification was not forecast well, but kind of result of the warm water here across much of the planet across a lot of the ocean areas and you can see just that really warm water some of these uh, some of this area up towards 90 degrees fahrenheit probably as far as ocean temperatures there so yeah that's why that storm ra rapidly intensified before it made landfall models again did not pick up on that well a lot of the models didn't even have it becoming a major hurricane at all and it became a monster category five right as it made landfall and you can kind of see that here kind of a disorganized cluster or just maybe an organized cluster or some deep convection there just rapidly intensifying and then look at the eye that that thing forms a lot of lightning associated with it as well and then it gets ripped apart as it moves across the higher terrain of Mexico anyway back to California here uh, the frontal system coming down is going to cast some pretty strong winds across some of the Sierra Nevada like some of these gusts here all the way down through Southern California and the desert areas here and this goes on in through Thursday morning on in through the day Thursday a bit for some of the desert areas as well as well some strong northwest winds down the coastline also all the way in through friday still some decent gusts here going on across some of the higher train of the sierra nevada here so heads up for that tighten the gradient with this upper level system moving down across the area this is peak wind gusts we scroll all the way out and you can see some of these gusts across the higher terrain getting up over 60 70 miles per hour some of the desert areas local higher gusts up towards 50 are possible as well now looking at 700 mil bars this we are dealing with a three-dimensional atmosphere here so 700 mil bars is about 10,000 feet if I put that into motion this is associated with the frontal system it's moving down this morning bringing that snowfall and some precipitation to portions of the state we'll take a look at those details here as well but yeah you can see that much colder air arriving for california and continuing to flow over us here as we go on in through about friday morning shown there this is looking at daily two meter min temperature here. So just a heads up, things are going to get pretty chilly, especially across the higher terrain here. But by the time we go towards Saturday, look at some of these temperatures, overnight lows down into the teens for the Sierra Nevada and hard freeze coming for portions of Nevada. And even some of the uh, higher terrain here of Northern California is under a freeze watch as well. And you can see some pretty chilly temperatures getting all the way down towards Southern California here. Also check it out, maybe out towards Big Bear and whatnot, getting down below freezing a bit. And then maybe starting to moderate here as we go on to the early portion of November. But yeah, pretty chilly period here, relatively speaking, across a lot of California. Now, this is looking at the high temperature here of Sacramento, California. Check it out. Sacramento not getting out of the 60s here today. Look at Red Bluff, 63. Fort Bragg, 59. Eureka, 57. San Francisco, kind of where it should be right there in the mid-60s as well. But you can see much chillier temperatures across some of the Sierra Nevada. Now, looking at this, uh, this is Eureka. And you can see the hard freeze watch here in this darker blue. And the lighter blue shows a freeze watch there so a heads up you know if you got pets out and about there and that's and the remain outdoors overnight you might want to bring them in during this time frame here and the freeze watch exists for places you know almost all the way down towards sea level but you got to get up a little bit of an elevation to kind of be in these freeze watches or the hard freeze watch now this is las vegas i showed this one yesterday as well but kind of an interesting thing here when you look at sunday and monday you're talking about mid 60s only as well you're looking at a 20 degree drop here from this week on in through next week here and this was issued yesterday las vegas national weather service heads up if you are traveling over there or going off to las vegas for those chilly temperatures through the weekend and early next week here's a, a little bit of talk of the strong wind gust here by the hanford national weather service as well guess near 45 miles per hour until about 9 a.m thursday morning is what they have it out for as of right now so watch out for the whole high profile vehicles here and you can see some of these gusts getting up over 45 miles per hour potentially this is the projected precipitation amount so you can see 
see the higher amounts across the higher terrain of the Sierra Nevada. There's Mono Lake right there, and you can see I-5 off to the bottom left there. And you can see some uh, snowfall, maybe Tioga Pass out there, three to four inches. So yeah, early season snowfall rolling through here. And this kind of shows it as well in the NAM 3KM. Put that into motion, and this is this morning as we go. You can see that snow propagating down across the Sierra Nevada. And some of the local higher peaks here could be getting significantly more. You're talking six plus inches as well. And some of the higher terrain here across Nevada and Utah also getting some nice snowfall out of this system. So heads up for that if you're traveling back and forth for some snowy conditions. Not too much down to the pass level. Again, the higher peaks are what's going to be really scoring with this event. Now, here we go. Total precipitation in inches. And you can see as this frontal system makes its way across the area. Talking about some light precip for some of the lower elevations. Better, of course, across the higher terrain. And some of the Sierra Nevada, again, getting some nice amounts. And we could be bringing out precipitation all the way through Southern California here as we go on in through uh, Wednesday mainly and on in through Thursday morning. That should be wrapping up there. And as we scroll through, you can see that precip kind of coming to an end there. Now, taking a look here, this is the European. This is that storm system up over Washington. There's Oregon, California. This is the frontal system casting down across the region here. This is yesterday afternoon's run. So I put it into motion. You can see it moving across California and Nevada here. Another weak system kind of falling apart by the time it gets towards the coastline. And we may start to warm up a bit here as we go on into early portions of November. But we have the storm track that's kind of pointed close into California. As you can see, this would be November 2nd, um, early in the morning here. But you can see the frontal system trying to include the Bay Area there as well. So we got to watch these systems as they come rolling in. It is November and some of these systems can start to dive a bit further south. Pretty intense atmospheric river actually looking there on uh, yesterday afternoon. European model right here. So we got to watch these systems out here as we start to warm up. We could also be bringing systems to the northern half of the state. This is looking at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. Gives a good idea of general trough and ridge position. You can see the trough with the cross Pacific Northwest associated with that Arctic air. We had our upper level though that cooled us down a bit there as well. And you can kind of see that swing through and that's that frontal system bringing some snow to the higher terrain of the Sierra Nevadas. And we can kind of get the secondary shot kind of an inside slider sliding down that keeps us cool as we go through on into early portions of the next week. And then we might start to build some ridging here, but we got this storm track pointed still at the Pacific Northwest, maybe including some of the northern half of California. We'll continue to watch that. Plenty of time to look at that here over the next few days. And here we are looking at two meter temperature anomaly. So you can see that cold Arctic air across the Northwest sagging down across Montana here. Put it into motion and you can see some of that colder air getting down into California. That's why we got the freeze watches up and Nevada cooling down quite nicely as we go towards the weekend. And also we talked about Las Vegas cooling down and you can see why as this very cold air mass sags all the way down south across the southwest USA. Some of the coastal areas might not be doing too bad here, but across the desert areas, you're going to feel that uh, and some of the mountainous areas also and some of the valley here as well. You're going to definitely feel in these chilly temperatures. And it'll, be a feel, it'll feel actually quite nice so a lot of these temperatures will be quite comfortable here, but yeah. But anyway, as we go off into the future a little bit more here, we might start to build some ridging here and warm us back up and maybe some offshore winds showing up there. But, you know, that's still kind of fantasy land. Not worth talking about too much just yet. We'll watch this here over the next few days and kind of see if this warm up is actually going to occur across the West Coast or not into early October. 8 to 14 day kind of reflects that same thing here. This goes through November 7th here. This was issued yesterday and the precipitation you kind of see it, including the northern half of California and the Pacific Northwest through November 7th. So something for us to watch here. We'll see how far these systems can make their way south. But yeah, interesting storm there. You can see it kicking off the lightning strikes there into Oregon. Frontal system, here it comes. If you're going to the Sierra Nevada here, it's going to get a bit stormy, and especially if you're in the backcountry across some of the higher terrain out there as well. But yeah, um, hopefully anybody down there with any... Um, Concerns for Acapulco is doing all right. Hopefully no deaths from that storm there, but some pretty vicious winds rolling through the area. But anyway, um, we'll continue to do this. I may go out and chase some storms here today across Pacific Northwest. Not some storms. I'll go out and look at the snowfall across the higher terrain and kind of see what it looks like and get a little early taste of winter here for me. So I may live stream on the other channel doing that. But anyway, I wanted to get this video out this morning before I headed out. Hope you guys are liking the channel. It's doing pretty well so far. We're up over 4 thousand subscribers keep continuing to click like and subscribe and we'll do this again tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then